peace peace family welcome back to the channel so i'm not going to hold you guys but i wanted to touch briefly about mental health um i have made several videos about this um throughout my time here on youtube and just my other social media platforms but i feel like it's something that we don't touch on enough you know um a lot of times we see people fleeing outside the country and you know this is what triggered it i was watching some shorts earlier and i seen this lady say oh i need to get away from babylon um you know i'll be going to mexico in two weeks and i'm like you do know that babylon exists over there you do know that things are cheaper in mexico and to get certain things sometimes you have people that don't need access that freely but my thing to you is that babylon exists everywhere not just in united states and i hate the fact that there are people making videos you know encouraging people to travel and move outside the country and how cheap it is but they're not telling you like listen it's still real life over here just because you come over here and get a little healing and get a little sprinkle on you and get a little herbs you know it's still real life there's still babylon there's places in mexico that i've been to that are like ridiculous like you know you might want to be single living out there because it, it gets down and dirty like um and then there's places that's more family oriented and everything like that babylon starts right here so i'm not knocking anybody but the reason i'm very much needed um on this platform is because i've done a lot and I feel like my shorter time, my, my short amount of time here on this earth, I've done a lot. And I try to tell people the real because I want you guys to be able to do better than me. And I want you guys to be able to try to avoid some of the mistakes I've made. And, you know, you can take my advice how you want. But, you know, moving outside the country is not getting away from Babylon. The Babylon is over there. Real life is over there. Scammers are over there pedophiles are over there you know uh your own, own kind is going to treat you the same that they do over here if not worse because they're trying to get away the black people that are going to mexico are trying to get away from the black people here so when they see black people over there it's like i don't want to be bothered with you because i tried to get away from you so let's talk the real turn that off um when people are saying they're fleeing uh babylon you're also fleeing your own people because a lot of people have said that they're trying to get away from black people so they go there and then that's why you wonder why they're not waving why they're dropping their head and i've had probably 95 percent people reach out and say they've experienced this and then a small percentage say i've never experienced what you're saying but i can understand and the reason why i'm talking so much about it is because it's embarrassing when you don't see other people and other races making the same videos you don't see other races having this complaint but it's so dumbfounded that a person will say and I know what this lady meant by it because I understand when people are thinking on a lower frequency I do get it just because I might vibrate a little higher does not mean that I don't get what you're saying it doesn't mean that you know I don't have my times because you can never disconnect from your lower self you are still going to be in tune with it you have to learn how to control it learn how to you know have the lower self be submissive to you and you not be submissive to your lower self so i understand when people say i'm trying to leave babylon everywhere is babylon you need to start here first you need to be able to understand that you need to leave babylon mentally leave babylon mentally and regardless where you go you'll have peace don't think you're going to take all your savings go outside the country where it seems it seems like everybody's fleeing to mexico and mexico is beautiful that is like my second home i can't say my first because you know i was born in the united states but you know i have connections and and ties and um relationships there that will be there for the rest of my life like you know you guys will see in the future uh you will see in the future my connections there. You will see in the future what I am building there. You understand? That's why I tell people to, to subscribe to the channel. Um, but I just like people to know the real. And I don't want, you know, you have to understand Babylon is here first. Um, because if not, you will continue to keep running. You will continue to keep exhausting your finances. Because you're thinking that you can run somewhere and just find peace. And yes it's easier said than done but if you don't have the mentality of practicing the fact that you are babylon your thoughts are babylon your pain your hatred there's people right now that you know are claiming to be spiritual healers but won't forgive relationships that 
could probably be beneficial to you that won't forgive people that makes mistakes just like you. So you can't call yourself a healer when you're not even healing yourself. And that's why I come up here and get pissed. I was not in Mexico laid up with the tourist sites and tourist activity and not going outside. I was not in Mexico and not mingling with the locals as well as other people of color or other people that was from the United States. So I experienced good and bad. And I'm telling you, to not try to run without understanding yourself first and not be fooled by the way people are, are pursuing themselves because they're acting like they're not human anymore. They're acting like they've made no mistakes and they're acting like they're a healer. A true healer will always find forgiveness because they know themselves what it is to not forgive. A true healer will always find ways to forgive because they know how... Um, important it is to the universe for you to forgive but when I see people claiming to be a healer and not forgiving but yet keep digging in people's pockets that makes me mad so I tell people hold on to your money do your research and at the same time stop running because you're going to be running for the rest of your life you're going to be in a mental institution mentally because you keep running so I feel bad when I see people saving their money exhausting it coming back to the states going back and they're going around the circle and i'm like you guys have to really understand you are your own healer you have to tap in what is already in you be mindful of people around you because the universe will bring people to you to help you on your journey as the universe has done for me i've always been more of a helper to people even when I was younger, I always had people come to me with their problems. I've always had come to people come to me that was um, a little bit more broken. And I always was that strength. So as I got older and just more knowledge, I understand my position a lot more. But at the same time, the universe really didn't bring a lot of people in my life to guide me because I was the guidance. And that's not to sound cocky or conceited. I just understood the assignment. I understood what it is I was supposed to do. And when I do get down and out, I just, I'm just strong enough to get through it. That's just what it is. But I understand a lot of people are not. So I don't knock people that aren't, I have people in my family that are struggling with addictions. I have people in my family that are struggling with different things. I myself am still struggling with things. Like just because you're a healer, just because you're a, whatever you claim you are, you don't stop going through stuff. Life is going to happen. So if I'm going to go to somebody for healing, I want somebody that's going to be authentic and still act like they're a human being and not walk around like they figured everything out. So a lot of times when I'm doing my readings and I'm doing my spiritual guidance for my clients, I tell them it's not about a paid reading. You can reach out to me anytime. Anytime you can reach out to me and I tell them I might not get back to you right away, but I will message you back. I will message you back and I give that to whoever comes to me. I've had people come to me and they'll say, oh, you know, um, I need you for this. Like how much are your prices? Because they don't know if they've changed or anything and I'll send it to them and they're like, oh, you know, I don't really have it right now. And I'm like, listen, what do you need from me? You understand? Um, you can give what you want. So sometimes when people don't have the right finances, I say, well, listen, I'm still going to help you out, but you can just give what you want as a donation because that is my purpose. I'm not going to dig in your pocket. That doesn't make me feel good. I don't care. You don't know my situation. I could be down to my last $2 or have $2 million. I'm still going to be authentic to who I am. So that's the whole purpose of my journal, of my journal, uh, my whole purpose of my channel is because you know, I know that my energy and me being authentic and me having my spiritual gifts and connections are very much needed more so now than, than any other time. Um, so I'm going to stay true to myself. I'm going to give you guys the real when it comes to traveling, when it comes to finances, when it comes to selling, buying a home, any information that I had that I have that life has given me, I'm going to share it with you. And I don't feel comfortable charging you a crazy price, but this is what I do. The only thing that I charge people for that I won't give a discount on is jewelry. I like to make jewelry. I like to create, you know, but when it comes to, I don't look at this like a spiritual gift. This is something that I like to do. I like to create. I like to make music. You guys never heard none of my music. I like to do a lot of different things, but when it comes to giving spiritual help and guidance, when it comes to giving you information, it could be help with paperwork. It could be help with, um, Hey, how did you do this? How do you sell a home? How do you do stocks? How, how was your time in Mexico when you had surgery? How did that go? 
I will give it to you absolutely free. Because my reward is helping other people. A lot of you guys aren't on that type of time. So with that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. It is absolutely free to support my channel, Nikki's Journal. I am simply expressing to you guys what I would write down in pen, but I feel like putting it on paper, it doesn't go anywhere. So I'd rather use this as my journal and give you guys as much as I can of myself. So again, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, make sure you are meditating and hydrating. Most importantly, make sure you're loving yourself.